So there's one thing in Notion that a lot of people in the community really, really want in the native app, and that is recurring tasks. Today, I wanna to share with you two of the easier ways to implement recurring tasks in the program. One of those use cases is with the native app, using what I'm calling single event recurring tasks. The other is going to be a multiple entry recurring task database, wherein for every recurring task, like paying rent every month on the 15th, you're going to have a new entry populate in the calendar. To do this, it isn't possible in the native app, but we can use a third-party tool like Bardeen. So let's just get right into it. This is an example of a single entry recurring task. This is something where you're going to have a task for every entry. And what you want to use here is usually a multi-select property like this, where you can select between multiple options. And then there is a formula that will tell you if the day you're on matches your frequency option. And then in another tab for today, I will collect all of the checkboxes that are ticked true. Now, this is great and all for people who are using Notion in a minimal way. However, the recurring task issue that you hear a lot in the Notion community isn't really this. The problem is that if you want to populate a calendar, let's just add a view for calendar, and on every month on the 15th, I want an entirely new entry to auto-populate. And this is possible and completely free with an extension called Bardeen, which we're gonna get into right now. So if you wanna follow along on how to do that, just open up an empty Notion page and we can do this together. I have my empty Notion page here and what I wanna do before going into Bardeen is I wanna create my task manager. So you'll need some sort of system set up, whether it be minimal or complex. What I'm gonna use is Notion's templates to get started. And I'm gonna find task list and that's gonna be under personal. And I'm gonna add a few things to this. So we have a to-do, doing, and done. I'm gonna add another one for priority inbox. And I like doing this with my pipelines to give an in-between stage between to-do, which I'm gonna to rename to ideas. This could also be called backlog. So I'm gonna delete this, maybe go to properties, add another property for priority just so we have something to work with and to fill out here. And I'm going to make this a select property. I can add options right here, like P1, so highest priority, priority one, two, and I'm just pressing enter to create them. Change some of the colors here. What I can also do in priority is just make sure I see priority in the card and I can also create another property called due date and make that a date property. Great, I wanna see that as well. Now what I can do is sort by priority ascending, save for everyone, and everything's pretty much set up. I can also color these columns by going to group. All right, so I have everything set up. So let's go over to the browser. I have a link down below to the Chrome extension. So once you add it to Chrome, it will prompt you to sign up with a new account and you pin Bardeen to your toolbar here. Let's just go to a random web page. What you're gonna do is integrate all of your apps. So let's take a look at that. Now this pop-up window here, what I can do is go to my menu an integration catalog to get a good look at all of the options I have. So here are some like Google Calendar, you can connect that, Notion of course, which we're going to do together. Now what you wanna do is select all the pages that you want Bardeen to connect inside of Notion. And I like just clicking everything on my sidebar, which is what will show up initially. You can also search for other pages. So task list is the one we just created. You can find that in there. I'm gonna allow access. And 
Now from here, we're gonna create what is called an auto book. So let's create the first auto book and start with an auto book trigger, which is going to be schedule. What I wanna do is add to that task list every Sunday, two different tasks. I want write newsletter and write weekly review. So starting, I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom, get current time. So once I activate this, I'll just be able to see if it works or not. And then I'm gonna go back and change it. So I could say, starting at this Sunday at midnight. Now the frequency is going to be repeat weekly every Sunday. And stopping between never stop on the date or after occurrences, I'm gonna just never stop, just keep going. Every Sunday, done. And the next one I'm gonna create is a new action to Notion. So I could go right to my Notion icon here, go to add and add Notion page to database. I'm gonna search for the database, which in this case is task list. Go down to custom field mapping and fill out some of those properties we created like priority. So this is gonna be writing my newsletter. So that's gonna be P1. With a due date, I'm gonna to go to my trigger action, the one we just created when a scheduled event occurs. And I'm going to just grab that date. Status is going to be priority inbox. And the name is going to be write newsletter. And I'm done. Now the next I want to create is the weekly review. So I'm gonna add a new action that looks exactly the same from Notion, add a Notion page to database task list. And I'm going to have this one be a priority one, due date from trigger action, the entire value and the status will be priority inbox. And the name will be weekly review. Done. And I'm all done. I'm gonna save this and name it Sunday. Recurring tasks. Save, I'm gonna exit out of the builder and turn this on. Now, if I go back to Notion and go to my task list, both should appear. And if I create a calendar view, calendar, I should see all of my tasks in calendar as well for today. Now, what I wanna do from here is actually go back and edit this. I'm gonna open Builder again and just change the schedule. I'm gonna delete it and just recreate it. Schedule for starting Sunday, the 24th, April 24th at midnight. And I'm just gonna do repeat weekly, starting every Sunday, never stopping. Only every Sunday at midnight, it will populate my database so I can wake up and see these new tasks. Save, and I'm going to activate it. And now what I can do is create another auto book for Monday recurring tasks, Tuesday recurring tasks at 2 p.m. and so on. I'm gonna create a page for a cash flow. So I'm gonna call this cash flow and see how we can use this automation tool for finances in Notion. I'm just gonna create a calendar, new database, and just click any one of these I'm going to edit this property here, tags to type, make it a select property. Two options here. Every entry in this database is either going to be an income or an outgoing expense. So incoming, another type can be outgoing, which will be negative numbers. And then I'm going to have an amount, the amount of money going in or out of my cash flow. Just put in a random number, go to one, two, three and pick your currency. And then I'm gonna also have a formula here because I've already tested this automation and it seems like Bardeen doesn't um, have a negative number compatibility. So we're gonna have to create a small formula. I'm gonna call it total formula. If the type equals outgoing, I'm just gonna turn this number into a negative number. So. I'm gonna say, if that's the case, then unary minus 
and inside the parentheses, I'm gonna click amount, otherwise, or comma, just the amount. And we're done. So I'm going to go to one, two, three button here, and again, select my currency, bring this to the top. So let's create another auto book that states every month on the 15th, I need to pay my rent. So schedule again, let's say starting right now, just so we can see it works. Frequency is gonna be repeat monthly this time, and I'm gonna click specific days and say the 15th. You could have more than one day and never stop. Again, new action, Notion, add a Notion page to cash flow. The amount being 1350, the date being when it was triggered, so trigger action, the entire value, and the name is pay rent. Type outgoing. Done. And let's see what happens. Let's call this 15th of month. So every auto book is going to be when something is scheduled. So we have the 15th of month here. Let's activate. Back to Notion and there it is, pay rent. Of course, I did say starting right now, total being negative 1350. But next month, it will populate on the 15th. I'm just going to go to properties here, maybe show with total. And you can see that that is how much has been taken out. You can also add another view if you're curious. Let's call this weekly or monthly actually. So we can see the sum of the total column here for each month. Let's make it a list. Go to group by date and then date by month. Hide empty groups. And you'll see inside the toggle for April 2022, pay rent. Actually, let's go to properties and also show the amount, the total. And then up here, this number, we can select that, go to sum and sum of the total amount. And that will change over time as new items are added. So that's just another quick way we can use automation. And again, I'll go in here and adjust the scheduled time to midnight. Some of my thoughts about Bardeen, I really, really like that this is completely free. You know, a lot of automation tools, there are free options, but they're limiting. There's only a certain number of tasks you can conduct each month. There is no limit. So that's really a plus here. A negative is going to be the integrations. There isn't a ton of options right now, but you do have your basics. You have Gmail, Google Calendar, Notion, Twitter. At least those are the ones I use the most. And there are so many other commands and utilities you can use here. In fact, I'm gonna link down below a automations hub built by Bardeen, which is a really nice directory to get started if you're using Bardeen for Notion. That being said, I will see you guys the rest of the week on Twitter and next time with a new video. See you then.